guys, I'm Cicely and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about the mistakes that I've made during my first solo traveling. And last time I released my video about my first solo trip in Bergen, Norway. And if you guys haven't checked it out, please check it out. I will just link it somewhere you will find it. <laughs> and yeah, please enjoy this video as well. So the first mistake I've made is that I forgot to look up the price or the fee of the transportation in Bergen. If I have looked it up earlier, I can actually save a lot of money. You know, the bus tickets there is about, I mean a single bus ticket there is about 30 crowns or something. If I knew that there is actually a student package for 7 days, that is actually saving me a lot but I just didn't know why I forgot to look it up but yeah it was really a mistake so I hope you guys if you are really going to travel to somewhere you should look it up as well and the second mistake I have made was that I brought a very heavy luggage to there well I have to say it was actually because I have to go to Finland directly after my trip uh, for my exchange study there so I have to pack a lot of things for my exchange study and that's why I have to also bring that luggage to Bergen as well that was actually quite heavy and it is very difficult for me to carry around so I would suggest you guys if you are first time solo traveling you have to pack lights because or else it will be very difficult for you to carry especially when you are alone no one can actually help you to carry your luggage and my heavy luggage is also a reason for me to choose a private room to stay in so if you guys out there are also carrying a very big baggage just be considerate and book a private room because such a big baggage will actually bring a lot of inconvenience for others and the third mistake I have made is about my outfit so I went to visit the fjord in Norway and you know in the nature area it is better to have an outfit that is suitable for you to uh, go around move around I didn't bring a better pair of shoes and my handbag was not convenient enough for me I mean because at that time when I was packing I was thinking I just want to bring one handbag to there but uh, at the time I was actually thinking about my exchange studies so uh, I decided to bring a very big handbag that is suitable for me to put a lot of stuff in but then it was not that good for me to uh, visit the nature area in Norway because it is quite difficult to carry around I mean if you are going to visit the fjord or something it would be the best to bring a backpack instead of a handbag shoes are also very important if they are not some hiking shoes, at least they should be some practical rubber shoes because you have to move around and it will be more convenient for you. And yeah, that's uh, the mistakes I have made. One reminder is that in Norway and actually in also a lot of other Nordic countries, they usually do payment by using Visa or MasterCard. And sometimes even for toilets, they require you to pay by using Visa or MasterCard. So be prepared for that. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and learned from my mistakes. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Stay positive and stay cheerful.